Move to the state of Tennessee, which could use the electric chair for the first time in 11 years in the execution of death row inmate Edmund Zagorski. 10 News anchor Beth Haynes joins us to explain that process. Beth. Yeah, John Zagorski chose to die by electric chair earlier this month rather than lethal injection. The U.S. Supreme Court and a federal appeals court both declined to intervene. He's now set to die November 1st. If the execution goes forward, it will take place in the execution chamber by 7 p.m. Central Time on Thursday. Here are the details. Staff will strap him into a chair and strap sponges soaked in salt water around his ankles to increase conductivity. Blinds to the witness room will open at 710 and the warden will ask Zagorski to give his last words. After that, staff will place another sponge on his head and a shroud over his face. The chair will release 1700 volts of electricity for 20 seconds, then stop for 15 seconds, then will release 1700 volts for another 15 seconds. A doctor will examine Zagorski for signs of life and pronounce him dead. Now, prison staff is expected to train for electrocution once a quarter with additional training in the days before an execution. The chair was tested most recently on October 12th and no problems were reported. John.